This summer, Bogus Basin is opening a little later than normal. Hey, that's the price we pay for one of the most epic winners of all time. We're up here at Bogus Basin to see what's brand new as they gear up for the summer recreation season. This is our newest attraction. It's called the Mine Shaft Challenge Course right behind me. It's a three-level challenge course, each level getting progressively more difficult. The 55-foot obstacle course will open on July 1st after the team finishes is up training on how to run it safely, but it looks pretty sweet with multiple options to get down from the top. You could do a two stage zip line off, or you could do a rappel off an auto belay system to get off of it. So, or you could climb down if you want as well, but we all want to do the, the zip line. It goes along with the Basin Gravity Park created two years ago that gives mountain bikers lift service access to their favorite trails. The Glade Runner Mountain Coaster went in five years ago. All the base activities will be back to go along with music on the mountain, yoga on the mountain, and all the cross-country trails I've ridden from Bogus all the way down to my house on the bench. Being a nonprofit, we, we're not out, always out after people's money. I mean, if you want to come up, put your blanket on the lawn, listen to music, bring your ice chest, not spend a dime, we're happy with that. We just want everybody to come up and enjoy what Bogus Basin has to offer, whether you spend money or not. Bring your family, enjoy the great outdoors, get out of the heat once it gets here. Temperatures usually sit about 10 degrees lower up here than down in the valley. And while this nonprofit usually opens around Memorial Day, the delay caused by all the snow and the recent storms will have an added benefit. It will be great because it will stay green long. We'll see wildflowers popping up in July and August when they would normally be over in June. So it's going to be beautiful up here, but it does need to dry out a little bit. Steve Dent. Fox 9 now.